Hello, everybody. It's David from Four Pillars here again. Uh, I'm, again, thrilled that uh, we've had another client that's um, willing to um, be interviewed. Um, so, Olivia, are you able to introduce yourself? Sure. Um, I'm Olivia. Um, I live in Bedford. I work at a, for a home care company, and I've been there for seven years. Um, yeah, that's about it. Okay, fantastic. So, are you able to tell us a little bit about your life before you dealt with your debt? Um, was it causing you stress? Um, how did it impact your life, your family, your health, and, and just your day-to-day, -day, um, I guess, activities? Yeah, um, so before I dealt with my debt, I had a lot of stress that I didn't even know existed. I would go to bed at night and think about, like, how was I like about paying my bills or how I could just pay my bills to get by um, and I didn't really realize that it was stressful um, because now when I go to bed at night after dealing with my debt I go to bed and think about what am I gonna do with my savings or what am I gonna do with my extra money and it's more of a pleasant thing you know, it's, it's really interesting you say that because yesterday I had counseling sessions and in the counseling sessions I was asking, so I'm like, how, I'm like are, you, are you less stressed now or how are things going? And, and, and two of the clients actually responded, well, you know, it's, it's a different kind of stress because you're right, people are now going, well, I've got savings, how do I deal with them? What should I be doing with them? How should I be rebuilding my credit? What should I be doing here? What should I be doing there? Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's very intriguing that yeah. you say that because I just had it yesterday. And uh, I find too, like the, like I go to the gym. So going to the gym and making that $10 payment every month is an enjoyable payment. And yeah. it's like, oh, I get to do something that I like to do and don't have to worry about, can I afford to do it? Because in, in the past, was it was it something that not necessarily that you regretted, but you that, that you felt guilty about? Uh, yeah, because I didn't. I was thinking like, oh well, that money could go to something better, or it yeah. could go on my bills, or it could go on my debt. For sure. And I was always thinking that if I just paid a little bit on everything, I would get ahead. I'd get somewhere. Yeah. But that's not true. You never get anywhere because yeah. get stuck in a cycle, right? And yeah. Once once the snowball is too big, it just yeah. There's no way you're going to get it down. Yeah. So. What was the turning point that made you look for help um, in dealing with your debt? Mostly, I wanted to buy a house, um, which you and I have talked about, oh, yes. um, from my father. And just going forward, I was never going to have any savings to be able to buy that house, let alone look after it and do the anything that needed to be done whether it be renovations or if there was some kind of flood or anything like that there was going to be no savings and no money to deal with those things so I was never going to be able to move back home I was never going to be able to do the things I wanted to I was never going to be able to travel because I had no savings um, you know I was watching other people go on trips and they'd say oh do you want to go and I couldn't go because I didn't have the money yeah. And no matter how I tried to budget my money to save for that, the just, the money just wasn't there because I was so busy trying to pay a little bit here and pay a little bit there Yeah, that it just didn't happen. It just didn't work out. No. And so how do you feel, or rather, how did you feel after you made the decision to deal with your debt? So say after our first meeting that we had together. Well, I knew when I, the very first meeting I came that I had to commit to it when I came here. For sure. Because if I didn't, I wasn't going to do it. For sure. And when I went home, I was like, okay, I still have time to change my mind. And I, then I was like, nope, that would be absolutely ridiculous for you to change your mind. Like, you're in this, you made a commitment, stick with it. Yeah. And for once in my life, my commitments weren't to debt, but to improving my debt and actually going somewhere yeah I, I know that when I have consultations with people uh, I, I try to always say you know like listen you, you can take go home take a few days to think about things <laughs> it's really interesting that you say that you, you knew you could change your mind because I, I try to reinforce and I, I don't know if you remember me saying it I do, yeah. but um, you know if you sign up today go home and think about it and you can tell me that you don't want to do this in a couple days um, and there's no hard feelings right because yeah. it is a big decision to make and we don't want to make people feel pressured in yeah any but I knew for me yeah 
that if I allowed myself to even think about that, yeah. I was going to go right back to where I was before. For sure. Because I had gone to the bank before. I think we talked about yeah. this. I had gone to the bank wanting to consolidate my debt, and I couldn't because I had stuff in collections. Yeah. And the bank said, we can't do anything for you. Your best choice is to go see a lawyer and go bankrupt. Yeah. So I didn't even know that I had other choices. I just yeah. thought I was going to lose everything. For sure. That it was just my everything was going to be out the window, and I was going to be seven years before I'd even be able to start building any credit or anything. Definitely. So uh, after you made the decision to move forward and started the process, how did you find the process overall? Now looking back on it, it was actually pretty easy. Yeah. Like I brought you the things you needed and asked for, and you did most of the work. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> But it was easy. Like, I just, I trusted you. I thought, like, at first I was nervous about, like, coming in and seeing somebody I didn't know and being like, hey, here's a really big, important part of my life that yeah. I have let got it get out of control. And it can be hard to seek help from somebody that you don't know. Yeah. And trusting somebody that you don't know with all of these things. Um, but once I came in and we met and I was like, okay, this is going to be easy. And I just... I brought you what you needed and it's really turned out for the better. Do you feel like you could have navigated the process um, by yourself without our support? I don't think so. And I know in your case you had some complexities with the vehicle and everything like that too. Um, on that side of things, uh, I know that it was rocky at points, right? Yeah. Um, but do you think that you could have dealt with that side of things? I don't think I would have got... I could have maybe tried, yeah. but I certainly would never have gotten where you got. Yeah, I would sure. never have had somebody come back and say, okay, we'll do both of these things that you want. We, you know, They wrote down my loan and they lowered my interest rate. I would never have gotten both of those, I don't think, on my own. Sure. Um, especially before I came in here, I didn't even know that those were really options to call my car company yeah, and be sure. like, hey, I can't afford this. Like, yeah. This is what's going on. I didn't even know that. Definitely, you know. definitely. So I don't know how detailed you want to get, and it's a, as much detail as you want or as little detail as you want, but what was the end result that you experienced, and how do you feel now? Um, for me, the end result has been very positive. My savings is growing. Awesome. I have credit card. Wonderful. Um, I have goals, and I have different levels of goals. I have goals just every time I get paid. My goal is to make sure that all my bills are paid, my bills are paid on time, Yeah. Um, and not just a bit of my bill is paid, my whole bill is paid. Yeah. Um, and so it's not, my bill doesn't continue to snowball. Yeah. Then I have my short-term savings that if I need car repairs or if a friend calls me and says, hey, let's go shopping this weekend and I want to buy a pair of pants while I'm out, like I have that type yeah. of savings then I have a savings that's long term that's going to probably down the road buy that house that I want Definitely. or allow me to go and travel and see the parts of the world that I want to see with the people that are already doing that yeah. and have gone to and done those extra steps because right from the beginning they knew how to handle their money yeah for sure for sure and uh, you, you mentioned the credit card, and I just want to kind of touch on that point, right? Because um, the idea of, of, of having the credit card now after we restructure the debt, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, but it's now part of the actual credit rebuilding process and the credit rehabilitation yep. process versus having a credit card so that, you know, you can rack it right up to the to the max limit <laughs> and, 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 and end up right back where you were, yeah. right? So it's a very calculated um, move um, that, we, that we've worked on. Right? Yeah, and we talked about, like, before I applied for the credit card, um, you said to me that a lot of people get a credit card and use it as an extension of their paycheck yeah. and never end up paying it off. Yeah. And it ends up in collections. Yeah. And that, like, I could definitely understand that happening because that happened prior to. So I was nervous about getting a credit card. Um, but when I got the credit card, I said, Okay, this week I'm leaving my bank card at home. Every time I need to buy something or use something, I use my credit card. Yeah. And I went right immediately to my bank. If that money wasn't in there, yeah. which it was because I had planned for it, but if it wasn't in there, I did couldn't use it. It yeah. was just like I imagine my credit card as my debit card. My debit yeah. card won't work if there's no money in my bank account. You got it. And so at the end of that week, 
I had used my credit card. I had gotten a couple of purchases on my credit card, but they were already paid off. Yeah. There was, then comes my statement in the mail. Yeah. And yes, I've used it. It's helped to build credit because I've utilized that system, but I don't know anything. Exactly. Exactly. And then that's and that's a, a great takeaway, right? Because, uh, you know, statistically speaking, 25% of people that um, enter into restructuring plans end up just repeating the cycle right now i, I mean to, to toot four pillars horn here ours is less than three percent mm-hmm. uh, and we feel it's because we we try to educate uh, as an ongoing process i mean we've been working together now for it seems like over a year but it's probably just about that just uh, yeah just shy right about, yeah. and and i mean we've met countless times now and and I, I like to believe that I, I say the same things nearly every appointment, <laughs> right? I'm a broken record a little bit. Um, so my last question that I have for you is if you had one thing to tell other people that were struggling with debt uh, and maybe hesitating to deal with it, what, what would it be? Um, I would just want them to know that there is choices, that it's, yes, it is a scary thing because your our life literally revolves around money if you have no money you have no roof over your head you have no food on the table you you those are just the basic necessities you don't let alone have any joys of you know or reward for spending your money yes it may seem scary at the moment to trust somebody and to think that i'm gonna lose everything I thought I was going to lose everything. I thought I was going to have to give up my car. I, Did you lose anything? No, I lost nothing. I had, and I had, I had everything to lose. Yeah. And, and I didn't. I come in here and, you're like, nope. You have another option. There's other ways and there's other things to do. Let's talk about those before, we even go to the bankruptcy. And we talked about them. Yeah. And, we filed the proposal. Um. It's worked out great. It did definitely work in my favor because some people, some of the creditors <laughs> lacked on their behalf, uh, which was maybe just a, a luck of the draw, but it definitely, well, there's other options and it's a huge relief awesome. to have debt off of my back. Awesome, fantastic. Well, thank you very much um, for letting me interview you. Um, Thank you. That's all I can say. You're welcome. Awesome. Thank you for all your help. Wonderful. Not a problem. You're very, very welcome. All right. Have a great day. Thanks. Bye.